Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and obviously we're back on the 89. So you've just seen then, I've not got a mental cleaning weld back yet. Um, I just wanted to get it to a point where it's kind of more 20% ready to go. Um, Cause then we'll come back in with a die grinder and a, the belt sander will go around the whole car and we'll clean back everything. It's the same kind of flavor I've done anything. I just want to get the panels on, everything in zinc primer. So I know that it's, you know, it's safe and it's protected. So this is how the quarter now looks. So obviously it looks a little bit different because it's a different colour now. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. I mean, down there, it's going to require kind of minor, minor filler work. So it's not too bad. Obviously, like I say, there's still the join there from where that panel is. So, you know, if you think about how much is new on this car and obviously all the underside and the seat bench and all of that, and you know, we'd have to do the doors or something. Um, so yeah, we've still got a lot on. Mind the tray uh, the dustpan that's deflecting a dripping water that drips off that and then off the car so yeah fun uh but oh well it is what it is like i say I'm, i've got a workspace i'm happy with that um this video is gonna be a bit bitty i think it's got a few things to get done so that was one of them uh get that primer get that ground backs off camera did all that and got that sorted um the, one guy i can't remember the name of it a few videos back mentioned about the, the what's wrong with the roof because i said even the roof needs work um so this is one of the things that's wrong with the roof um that it's basically that i think it's the same on that corner um this corner's okay that's pretty good um but also the gutter, the gutter is just all missing along the top there um and if i remember rightly this hole that you can see at the back there is there's the same one on on the passenger side because all the wiring loom is getting wet um so literally this has all been gammed up full of filler and all sorts and all sorts of yeah, crud but really it shouldn't take too long i'm going to treat it clean it all back um get right in there with a wire wheel um fur tan it and then what we're gonna have to do is we're just gonna have to get some either put a piece a tiny piece of metal in there which we might get away with if we can get a good enough area cut out um if not it'll be a bit of copper underneath and we're just gonna have to try and you know get rid of it <laughs> um so this side someone's repaired this side at some point you can see where they put a piece in um and obviously that's four service off and just swore from me welding so <laughs> a lot of it blows out <laughs> um but it's <sighs> yeah there you go. it's not as bad as it looks it's just because the car is again is not not kept in the best of conditions at the moment um so what have we got left to do so this video is going to be a bit bitty like i mentioned um and it also will potentially be the last video in this garage uh we're going to obviously get it on a rotisserie spit very soon so i'm sorry if there's a bit of a break in videos again i've got to get the spit set up ready to go three cars move this car back out and yeah but it's going to be exciting it means it's progress so please stick with me it's um it's definitely a good thing um so in this video i've got this which i keep looking at and going i'm going to forget that i'm going to paint this boot floor and i'm going to look at it and go something's missing there so we're gonna get this in. I've just taken a photograph off my sidewalk. Um, anyone that knows that, it's just where the bolt goes through for the strap for the fuel tank. But I need to put it back on the boot floor. This is what I saved right back at the beginning, prepped up and kind of restored to put back on the floor. So it sits that way around, down there-ish. So I've made a note of the dimensions. Um, and then on the other side, we've got this. So I hope you can kind of see. Um, we've got a gap, we've got a bit of a gap. That's all we've got. Um, so. We need to get a piece in there. I've got a repair panel. They're not the best of repair panels I've heard, um, but it is what it is. It's gonna source out that little area. That then puts us at the point where all the panels bar the valance are on the car. So yeah, bit of a bitty video, probably not much video footage of me working, but a bit more of a wrapping it up really um which is really good obviously i'm excited about it i might not look excited i have a bit of a, a resting face as people tell tell me but um yeah it's exciting because it's the last panel on this car um so yeah i've decided to stick with the quarter i'm not going to put the quarter on the other side i've already repaired it it's a good enough job it just needs a bit more work um and yeah we'll hopefully get that panel beat it out so without further ado let's crack on if you haven't already please drop into the link description below check out mini mine and frost our sponsors um everything's in there below so mini mine obviously they supply mini parts they also run their own restoration shop so if you need anything just give them a call give them an email um but yeah 
we are really cracking on with this. They've helped us out so much with this. Um, there's also a little package there to arrive for the 89 from Mini Mine not long ago, but we'll get onto that when we get onto the subframes because it's parts for that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to set you up where I'm going to start next. So I'm going to have a brew and a head scratch. Uh, yeah. Let's crack on. All right, so here we are in the back of the car again. So I made some notes basically years and years ago when I just took this car apart, measuring from here. So edge of the subframe mount from the side of the car, um, which equates to basically that. Um, so look, just looking at the side, well, there's enough room down here for it to pass, a wiring loom to pass through. Um, and then that sits basically can I get that straight for you? Like that. So, a bit of an odd little bracket, really, but all it does is hold the, the strap in for the fuel tank and obviously keeps it nice and secure. So, I'm just going to run a stitch and then get it in. A bit like I've done with there, I've not plug welded that. It's all been completely seam welded because this suffering mount, I feel like the belt and braces get it nice. Um, obviously, everything gets seam sealed anyway. But then this, I'm just going to stitch, stitch, stitch. Nice, tidy stitch. If this is a nice bit of metal, that's a nice bit of metal, should be good. Um, and then we can address that hole also means that I won't forget this fuel tank bracket because every time I come into the garage, I see it on the side, I'm like, I'm gonna forget that. But let's get it in. So there we have it, you can kind of see, can I zoom you in, got on the wire, there you go. So what I've done is just run a little bead of stitch all the way around the whole thing, and it's rock solid. So right, that's that job done. So a little bit of primer on that, and then we'll come back to that and seam seal it when the time's ready. But yeah, I'm confident that's in the right place. We'll soon see when we bolt the car back together. But yeah. Reet, next job, fill that hole. So, like I say, I've got this, which I'm going to cut down and literally just use. I ha um, I can't remember where I got this now. I'm sure I, I found it on eBay. I literally won it for like a few quid. I thought, oh, that saves me a bit of time. So, but we'll see. It might not. Alright guys, so there we have it. So it is like a, obviously I say a repair panel, um, but we've put the quarter bit in here already. I'm happy with it, just needs a little bit of work there basically. So I didn't want to put another quarter in this side because it's not rotten across here. It's perfect along there. Um, so yeah, we've stuck with it. So I've got a spare panel kicking about for a, another project, which I'm sure I'll find. So yeah, this is just a repair section. So. People that I spoke to about it have said it's not the best and no it wasn't. So I'll try and explain the best I can. So this is obviously the rest of the panel that it came, came with. It comes to basically repair it all the way up to there, but obviously I didn't. Um, 
basically this is you can see look how much wider so that's meant to be there look how much wider that is than the car so i had to fold basically refold that flange so it's fitted in that gap so i'm pretty happy about it actually to be fair um nice weld across there um obviously plugged it down there little plug there and then just basically i stitched it along the bottom just so it's tidied up and yeah we're just just trimming it back now so yeah, very happy here to be honest. But that's the last kind of repair on this side. Now, all I've got to do on this side is fold the door skin, the, the A panel on the door. So, and that leaves both sides done. So, but yeah, I'll just linish this back. I'm not going to go mental, but we'll linish it back so it's done. And then, yeah, it's another, another job off the list. And there we have it, the finished article. I am actually <laughs> really quite happy with that. It's always the way, isn't it? The jobs that you're really, really putting off go really well. So um, yeah, that's that done. So that marks driver side, finished. Passenger side, bar folding the A panel, finished. Back end, finished. Just got the balance. Front end, 80% welded on. We'll get done on the spit. This is a good video, guys. So it's bitty, I'm sorry, there's no real reason of the video it's not like i've shown you how to fit a panel or anything like that but it is a vlog at the end of the day um but yeah i hope you've enjoyed it this is um i'm yeah i came out today and i thought i'm not going to achieve too much it's gonna be a bitty video it's gonna be but yeah hope you're happy guys so drop in the comments below have you ever used that magnum panel um once you've remanufactured it it's not too bad so <laughs> yeah but actually i'm quite happy because that means i basically in my head if i could not get that to fit properly and it was going to look like an absolute dog's dinner i was going to start again cut the quarter off start again but now i don't have to do that so i've saved myself a lot of time so um yeah the car's running arches as well so the join to the thingy like it's can you know you can fettle it a little bit and you're never going to see it so but in, in hindsight it's actually really really good so pretty happy at that can't stop working at it it's really 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 is getting there so mrs simpson's away on holiday for friends and your shell's nearly nearly there so really happy with that right quick recap on the car of what we've got left to do then so rear valance and closers so they are inside the car so we've got two closers and the valance over there that quarter get put away for another project because you know we're getting another one at some point um if not might already happen um obviously and the seam trims they will get fitted last thing on the prep stage of things um a panel and everything's on just need to fold this a panel it's no biggie but i have the door off to do that um this is the hole on the other side so like i say it's identical to that rear corner so yeah we've got basic whole diagonal corners um which i don't think it's gonna be too bad making a gutter up is gonna be the exciting bit all the way along is gone um right so we're, I feel like we've come a long way in the last few weeks, guys. Number one, I can move the car around my garage, which does help. Um, but yeah, really happy. We're getting there. So, I'm going to end this video now. I'm going to spend time, some time with my little puppy. It's sitting in her inside waiting for me. And uh, I'm going to sit and have a brew. And I'd say look at parts, but there's no panel to look at for this car now. Um, it will be the exciting bits now, like building the subframes up. And Mini Miner helps us out with a lot of them bits. So we've got most of that. It is a case now of getting it on the spit. So I'm going to go see Pete, mate. He's uh, lending me his spit so we can get it on a rotisserie spit. Now the car's solid. I have no fear of it moving or anything like that. Um, finish off loads of little bits of stitch welding I want to do. There's a few plug welds to do under the car. Make sure that all my uh, fuel line clips and brake line clips and that sort of stuff are in the right place. I'm pretty sure they were. I made them all. Um, yeah, we've got quite a lot to do still, but once it's upside down, it's going to be, number one, visually for me, there'll be something else in this garage. Number two, we are gunning towards getting stone chip and paint on this car and subframes, which is obviously a big, big deal. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's a good video, this thing, I think, guys. So, I can safely say we have probably a day's worth of welding left on this car, which feels good. So, I'm going to just, that's Linish back, and bang a bit of zinc primer on it for now. Um, we'll come to that step when we start doing all the prep. Fuel tank traps in. Yeah, really happy. Um, also, I made these up. I don't know if I covered them in the front end video, but they're tabs that go, just drop one. Um, the folder bits are still, but they go up inside. So we'll show you now. If you ever done a front end, 
you will see that it had a, a tab up there, so it's like a strengthener. So I made them back up, so they will go on. And uh, yeah, I'm going to stop going on. Remember to comment below, remember to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, share it amongst your friends. Um, once this build's done, it's quite... I'm basically sat in limbo and it's in someone else's hands at the moment of quite an exciting announcement for this channel. And I'm hoping by the time this video goes out on Sunday, um, you should uh, yeah, you should have um, quite a good announcement next week. So I'm really, really hoping I can do that for you guys because it's a game changer. It really is a game changer. Um, and it's been chatting. There's quite a few projects lined up. So it should be quite fun. So... Stay tuned guys, thank you once again for watching. Thank you for bear with me with the 89 build. It has been a long process, but I do feel like we have turned the corner today. And my view on the car is completely different as it was at the beginning of the week. So look after yourselves, catch you next one.